Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger, not Ashwood Asylum. I made you think we were doing Ashwood Asylum. Ha ha, joke's on you. I was only pretending to play Ashwood Asylum. Instead, we're going to do Kikiri Forest. We got to keep it with the Nintendo theme. It's, uh, it's only right, it's only just. It's what I do around here. I represent... The people that hate me because I uh, make YouTube videos. Wonder if I can get in trouble for like streaming Nintendo maps and, uh, and killing for two. I wonder if they, they they have like legal precedent to get on my butt about that. Probably right because these a these assets are Nintendos because they're just ripped straight from the game. Um, so I'd imagine they have legal like uh, not precedent. I don't know maybe precedent is the right word, but I, I'd assume they have legal. Uh, the legal right to, to prevent me from streaming this kind of stuff. But then at the same time, I'd be like, you know what? Just, like, screw you. <laughs> you shouldn't. You're, you're, like, Nintendo's not really contributing anything to this video. At all. They're just kind of there. They're present. But they're not contributing. Um... So I don't know, maybe, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I'd assume they do, and I would definitely assume that if I was, like, you know, a huge YouTuber with, like, I don't know, millions of viewers or something. So tomorrow is what I'm saying. Um, I, I'd assume they'd be getting on my butt about it. Because they're just, they're just like that. They hate people. They hate everything that's not money. And then people, some reason, like, just praise them for being, like, such a great company that loves gamers. And I'm like, nah, 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 they love your wallet. And, like, I, you know... I love the stuff they make, okay? I love, like, Nintendo consoles or um, hair. Can you behave? I love Nintendo consoles. They're the only things I actually buy these days. I don't buy Xboxes or Playstations. I only buy the Nintendo stuff. Um, so I love what they do. They, they make, like, innovative, cool stuff. You know, like, the Switch is a really cool console. Um, being able to have your two controllers kind of separated like that is really really awesome Something being able to just pick it up and like take it away is awesome um I think it's all it's an awesome little console I love it it's, it's sweet um and it, it's a it's a unique experience like, you can't just have that experience on a PC right like, you can have similar experiences but you can't have well, actually, no, you can't you can't even have a similar experience on a PC uh, well, like, you kind of can, but at the time of release, you definitely couldn't. At least not in any kind of, like, reasonable way that's, like, supported and has, like, games that kind of play into it and, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? Um, so getting a Nintendo console is the only way that you could really get that, uh, that experience. And when they release their next console, it's going to be, you know, the same kind of thing, right? Like, that's always kind of the way that they, uh, they do this. Um, is by making something that, that you just can't really experience without buying their console and then you want that experience um, you know they've been trying it since as far back as like ever right I like this itch up my nose hold up I have q-tips here Do we have um it's like right in my nose dude <laughs> whatever I'll just be itchy it's okay I'm gonna stick a Q-tip up my nose. I wanna, don't get me wrong. I'm just like, okay, but where do I put the Q-tip afterwards? Do I really wanna commit to this right now? Not really. Um, <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, you know, next, like, they've been doing it for as long as they've been around, basically, right? Like, the NES even, I think, they, like, designed a different, like, controller that was totally different and unique from everything else, and... Nintendo 64, I mean, it wasn't a good innovation, but uh, they definitely, again, innovated the controller. Um, you know, the Visual Boy Advance, again, not a good innovation, but they did something, right? And I appreciate that. I respect that. So it's not like everything they do is always good, but I appreciate that uh, that they're trying to do something. You know, like, like Xbox, Sony... They're, ju they're just making computers, you know, and then forcing people to 
buy it to play the games that could have just been released on PC. You know? They could have just made, like, proper... I mean, these days especially. Like, back in the day, perhaps, sure. But, like, these days, not. Like, they're just computers. Like, why can't they just... I can't believe we upgraded the friggin' 9 mil twice. Um... Like, why, why can't they just make PCs with, like, Linux or something? And then force people to make just games that work on Linux. And and get a cut of the game. Like, like I just... It would be a lot better. I'd respect them a lot more if they did that. But they don't. Um, and it, it, it's it's purely because they want more money. Like, that's... that's Exclusively why they're just restrict... Like, it's just arbitrary restrictions is, is all that... Uh, the Xbox and the PlayStation are these days. It's just arbitrarily restricting what games you can play based on who you gave your money to. And uh, that, I don't really respect. You know? Whereas, you know, you, you could argue that Nintendo's doing the same thing, just arbitrarily restricting what games you can play based on, you know, you bought their console. But at the same time, it's not really arbitrary because they made, like, an entirely new experience. You know what I mean? And I, I think that they could make, like, a Linux thing as well and add in the support to it. But, like, they're at least doing something. You know, when's the last time Sony or PlayStation ever did something you can't just already do on PC? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, never. They've never done that. Ever. They've literally... Neither of them have... I, you know, Xbox had the Kinect, I guess. Xbox had the Kinect. That, that's it, though, right? <laughs> like, that's it. That's, that's the only time... I'm trying to think. That's the only time they've ever done something that couldn't already be done on PC. You know? The only time it wasn't just an arbitrary restriction. In my opinion. In my opinion. And, uh... So I, I just, you know, if, you, if you're into it, if, like, if you want to play those games, whatever, if you like the console kind of thing, it's fine. It's like, it's not bad for you to like it. Uh, it's just that for me, I just, I don't care. It ju I just... I don't. Um, I'd, I'd rather, like, you, you, you can go and play Halo on your Xbox. I can play a game that's similar to Halo on my PC. You know? I don't have to play specifically Halo to have a good time. And it's not like, you know, oh, you're going to go play, like, Halo 2.0. No, like, realistically, I'm going to go play Minecraft. Like, I just... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, uh, so I just... I don't care. And then and then it just feels like arbitrary restrictions. So I don't have a lot of respect for, uh, for the Sonys and the Xboxes and all that, you know? Um, but I do have a lot of respect for the Nintendo consoles. Um, because again, they, they they actually do stuff that's different, you know. The Wii U had the the screen on it, so you got to have that kind of like dual screen console thing with the the menus and all that on the on the on the controller, and then um, have the uh, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. You know, the motion controls with the stuff. like it was it was cool, right? Like it was it was fun, and I, I actually used that a lot. Like I read manga. On my Wii U, actually, like that was actually when I like started reading manga was was on that. Like, I think my it was just it was the big like the best mobile ish um, device that I actually had for reading manga. Believe it or not, because um, back then I didn't have a good phone. The Wii U was actually reasonably powerful relative to my phone back then, um, and. Uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it was a good experience. Well, sort of. Um, and it was it was something that you couldn't just go get on PC. And uh, you know, then again, the Switch came out. You get you get the like separated controllers again. Not something that you get on PC. Just that alone. Let alone that they have like you you can let just pick up the console and take it with you to play on the bus and take it over to your friend's house. Where like you can't just do that with your PC. But you could with the Switch. It was an entirely new experience. And I respect that they want to, to get some kind of return for, for all the like research and development that goes into actually creating something like that. Because that takes a lot of time and energy and effort and 
money and all that to, to make, right? Of course. Um, and then and then you just have like the PlayStation 5, which is literally just to, like I'm pretty sure it uses like off the shelf components almost, except for like the motherboard and the 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 SoC. Um, like it's just like basically off the shelf crap. They're just computers. Um, and the SoC is is like it's not a very special SoC either. Like it's just an AMD CPU with an AMD uh, graphics card, I believe, right? Like a little. Or is it Nvidia? I think it's, I think it's graphics. I, I think it's AMD. I believe that uh, Nintendo's the only one that uses AMD graphics. I believe. Um, Shannon, I don't know what their next console is going to be or when it's going to be. They don't really follow the same release schedule as uh, Xbox and PlayStation. I mean, they don't, I don't, I don't really think they view themselves as being like a competitor to them either. I think that Sony and Microsoft view Nintendo as being a competitor to them. Um... But I don't. I don't think that Nintendo views them as being competitors. <laughs> like, why would you? You know, you you know that there are people like me out there who are just like, yeah, there, there's zero percent chance that I'm buying a an Xbox or a PlayStation. I just I won't. I have no desire to do that because they're not going to make anything that's new or interesting to me. Um. So like, why bother trying to to keep up with the with the Joneses, right? I don't know what they're going to make next, though. I'm excited to see what it is, because, uh, again, they always make something new and exciting. And I love seeing it. I don't really think it's going to be for a while, though. Um, I still think this, like, I don't think the Switch is at the end of its life cycle yet. Um, got the Switch Lite coming out, or, like, came out recently. Ish, kind of. Um, we'll probably get, like, a, a, a more powerful Switch, is my guess. Um, in the next year, and then probably a couple of years after that, we'll get another thing. I don't know. I, uh, I'm thinking that they're going to continue with the, like, portable aspect of it, because they, they kind of committed to that from the Wii U, right? Because the Wii U had that, uh, that portable controller with the screen thing, and then, uh, the Switch kind of developed that a little bit farther. The next console, I think, is going to keep that, but what are they going to change about it? Like, what, what could they... I don't even know, man. Maybe the screen itself, like, parts. So you can, like, give a screen to, to, to like, two people. And have, like, PvP games or something like that on the screens, maybe? I don't know, man. I don't know. That'd be really, like, weird. And hard to develop, probably, but... Who knows? I lie, I can't wait to see what they do next because uh, they always do something fun, and I'm always excited for. It. I don't buy it immediately. I'm not. I'm not somebody who rushes out to like buy the console when it comes out. But I wait until there's a game I want. Typically, um, this time I waited until there were like Breath of the Wild came out, and I think Mario Odyssey, um, and then I bought it and I got those games. I still haven't beaten Breath of the Wild, so I should do that. Uh, But, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I don't, I don't rush on by it. I, well, like, I love seeing it, and I love, like, seeing what they do, because oftentimes a lot of that kind of stuff comes to, to PC as well. Um, later on, um, they just, like, make it, give the ideas out, and then somebody else is like, hey, that's cool, I want that on my PC. And then they make it, and now it's there, so you can play it anywhere. Um, like, there's, like, a, a Switch competitor on, um, that's, uh, runs Linux or something. Not not necessarily like a direct competitor because you can't play Nintendo games on it without like, you know, emulation or whatever. Um, but like, you know, it's actually like pretty reasonably decent if uh, what you're looking for is a portable PC that runs for like an hour on battery uh, and has similar-ish, like they don't have their detachable controllers, but um, similar to like the Switch Lite, I guess. More so than, than the, 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 the normal Switch. Um, but, you know. 
And we got, uh, like, there's there's tons of, like, Switch-style controllers coming out for PC now. They're not as good as the Switch one. No, you know, never, never, basically, ever, are controllers made not for consoles, um, like, as good. They're just not. They just aren't. The buttons and the switches and, like, they just cheap out on so much stuff. It's just it's always, like, a gimmick, you know? Like, look at this PC controller. Like, nah, I'm just gonna go buy an Xbox controller. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> why why waste your money on, on something that, uh, that, you know, isn't good? Um... So when, whenever this kind of stuff comes out, like you just you you feel the the um, the, the thumbsticks and they're not very good. They don't feel good. They feel a little bit uh, stiff or whatever. And they're always gonna feel a little bit stiff initially. Like you kind of wear them in. Um, but like they'll feel like extra stiff, you know. Uh, or they'll feel way too loose. They'll be like drift and. Um, the dead zone will be way too big, the switches will feel kind of like wobbly and cheap, um, the d-pads usually suck, it's just there's always so much bad stuff that comes from, um, uh, from, uh, controllers made not for consoles. I don't know why, they just, they, they just never make anything good. Okay, enough joking around here, okay? Yeah, that's right. I shoot, I kill nothing, apparently. Wait, well, hold up, hold up. Hold up. You know what? I'm, I'll take it, okay? Come on, come on. I can do this, I can do this. Come on, so you want to go up, pop. Suits and boots, guys. We got something. It's hurting. That, that looked like ice to me. I'm trying. I'm not really good at like the exact 360 here, okay? Get it ahead, people. Come on, man. I can do it. We, we, we can kill this guy with a knife. I don't I'll burn through my bullets here, okay? I just wanna like at least land a shot. Love this game. I did it! That hit him! First try! That hit him, okay? No blood popped out, but I think it hit a cleaver. I saw him stagger. It, that 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 hit him. It it did it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, uh, did you see the way I took down that bloat though? Like, ho, oh, didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I like thinking about what Nintendo's going to do next, though. I want them to do something cool. I want them to do something that makes me want to buy it, but... Like, I, I, maybe they don't have a screen on it next time. Maybe they don't have, like, this portable thing. Maybe they go for, like, a standard console again. I doubt it. I'd, I'd be I'd be really disappointed. You know, it's, it's going to be like, um... The next one comes out, and it's just, like, an Xbox or something. Just, just like, a generic PC with PC components that's just... Playing like a normal PC, except you have to use a controller. And uh, it's going to be terrible. I mean, the, the Switch is also made with PC components, mostly. Um, it's AMD and NVIDIA, I believe. AMD processor, NVIDIA GPU, I believe. I believe. I don't know the internals too well, but couldn't tell you like the part numbers or whatever. The model numbers. But I believe it's uh, it's AMD CPU, NVIDIA GPU. Um, and it is basically like modern, normal hardware for the most part. It's like different. Um, I don't I. 
Mm, the Switch might be x86. The uh, Xbox and the PS4 even, like the Xbox One and the PS4 even, uh, were x86, I believe. Um, which is 64-bit. Uh, which is like, uh, you know, like what, what you have in your computer. Like, same kind of architecture. You, you could put it, like, you could run Windows or Linux or whatever on it. it uh, the architecture is there and is functional. Presumably, anyway. Should There, there might be some issues or whatever, because the implementation would kind of differ a little bit. And there'd be some, probably some specific stuff added in or whatever for the, the thing. But I believe it runs just x86. I believe the Xbox Series and the, uh, the PlayStation 5... Thank you, PlayStation, for having like normal naming scheme. By the way, um, like that's 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 uh, perhaps an underrated benefit of the PlayStation. You got the PlayStation. You got the PlayStation Two. You got the PlayStation Three. You got the PlayStation Four. You got the PlayStation Five. Which one came first? Which one came last? I bet you can guess just from the name alone. Now you got the Xbox. You got the Xbox. Uh, what is it? Xbox 360. You got the Xbox One. Um, and then you got the Xbox, like, series. Right? <laughs> Which is like... Okay. Alright. Just throwing words out like they don't matter and hold no... You know, kind of like... They, they are. Just, just thank you, Sony, for at least naming your stuff reasonably. You know, I don't respect the console itself, but I respect the name. Okay, at least, at least we can understand what it is when, when somebody says it. The Xbox One was, was a particularly funny one because remember when it came out and people were like, "Hey, what Xbox do you have?" Oh, I had the Xbox One. Oh, that's an old one, right? No, it just came out. Or, uh, or you know, one that, one that would happen oftentimes is. Hey, what Xbox you got? Oh, I got the Xbox One. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, we used to play uh, the Halo on that one. They still make them? Like, uh, yeah, they just got released like two days ago, dude. Really? I thought they were like 20 years old. Happened all the time. Because it's just it's called the Xbox One. Why would you? Why would you do that, you dummies? So thank you, PlayStation, for just being reasonable. If if nothing else. Mad props to that. You know? A moment of silence. The moment is over. But it was there. Out of respect for the PlayStation 5's name. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want the future comedy. I'll see you next time. I'm getting pretty good at saying that. Bye-bye.